Hi there. What we're going to do this time is we're going to use some of the properties that we've just learned. So creating variables, printing, inputting. And we're going to take it to the next step further. We're going to do some calculations. So I have on our coding site um, an activity about how long you brushed your teeth. So this is using Scratch. So this is using block-based coding. So what I'd like to do is replicate something similar to this and then put it into our Python environment instead where what we're doing is collecting information from our end user and asking them, how long did they brush their teeth in the morning? How long did they brush their teeth at night? And then we're gonna calculate then, how long do they brush their teeth overall? And we can take a look, so take their AM, PM, times it by seven. So we're gonna look at how long did they brush their teeth for one week? And that's what we're going to calculate right now using Python. So back here, we're gonna click on our code, so create a code cell. And what we're going to do is exactly that. We're going to ask the end user, how long did they brush their teeth in the morning? And if you recall from our, vi from our previous videos, we wanna make sure we introduce a variable at the same time so that I can recall that data. So whatever the end user puts in, whatever that input is, I'm going to reuse that. All right, let's do that. So I need to come up with a variable. So we're gonna say brushing our teeth in the morning. So I'll try to come, come up with a somewhat condensed version of that. So let's say brush, teeth and now to have more than one word as a variable i have to keep them connected so to do that we're going to use an underscore so that's a really good way of doing things in programming we're going to do an underscore so brush teeth underscore am and don't forget when you have a variable introduced we have to then put an equal sign in so brush teeth am equals and we're going to now ask input how long or I say how many minutes let's be specific how many minutes do you brush your teeth in the morning and this is a, like an elapsed time type activity like I know even in grade four we do these type of activities so the kids are aware of these things perfect and because this is a string and I realize that this is all black and it's not red like we've seen before that means I have to go back and make sure I put in quotation marks okay Quotation mark, quotation mark, and now we're good to go. I'm gonna put a bit of a space here, oops, space within the quotation marks. So this should now prompt me to say, to ask me how long do I brush my teeth in the morning? Let's test our code. It's always good before we get too far, let's test it. How many minutes do you brush your teeth in the morning? And if I say two, hit enter, we're done, excellent. So what I'd like to do now is take it a little bit further. Let's repeat this process. And now we're gonna ask for in the evening, so the PM. So brush, teeth, and you see how it populates here. It's just kind of already, it's like, hey, we recognize you're starting to type out this variable. So it's trying to help me out. I could actually click on that to help me because what I'm gonna do is just backtrack now and say PM equals, and again, input and how long, and I'm making sure I put my brackets in, how many minutes do you brush your teeth in the evening? Question mark, space, and now we'll be prompted for that as well. So in terms of calculations, so this is where it gets interesting. So if you recall, back in this environment here, we were taking our AM, plus our PM, and then we're multiplying that sum by seven. So let's go back here, similar idea. Let's just do one at a time though. So let's first just do brush our teeth in the AM, then add to the brush your teeth at PM, and then we'll do the calculations of the time seven. Let's see what happens. So to do that, I'm going to now just take my first variable, brush teeth and take a look how it populates. Thank you very much for doing that, plus, and now I want the brush teeth and the PM. Grab that, PM. Now, just like anything, I like, it's like, well, wait a minute. If I have this variable, add this variable, how do I call it or how do I print the output of this? So I could just put print, <clears throat> excuse me, at the front of this. But what I may also want to do is create a variable again for the sum of this. Sum brush teeth because that way 
I don't have to type in this expression every time because now that I found this sum, I could just use that variable and call it up when I need to do more calculations. Awesome. So that should be my sum of that. And then I'm going to print this sum. So what is the sum that comes out of this? And I'm gonna type it in, sum brush, teeth, there's the variable. And let's run our code. All right. Oops, before I do that, print, that's better. And run our code. So how many minutes do you brush your teeth in the morning? Let's say two. And we'll say two again for the evening. Oh my gosh, this is interesting. Okay, it says our sum for printing our brush your teeth, our total time is 22. Well, that doesn't make sense. Two plus two should give us four. So here's why this happened, because it's really actually saying, putting the two and the two together, not as if it's making a sum of 22. What it's saying is calling up the variable, hey, your response here was two, your response here was two, and we're putting them together, it's 22. So to actually make a true sum in this, we have to make sure that the input values that we get are recognized as numbers and not string values. So not just characters, because even if I put in letters here, they just put the letters together, and that would be our sum. Well, that's not what we want. So whenever we do any mathematical applications, we need to make sure that they recognize that the input that somebody's putting in is in fact a number. There's a trick to this. So to do that, what we're going to do in front of this variable here, so sum brush teeth equals, and I have to put in front here is a word like I-N-T bracket, bracket. So let me explain. I-N-T, it actually refers, and if I just actually hover over that, it kind of gives you a bit, like a little bit blah like to look at, but it's really just integers. So we're now talking about, it's like your whole numbers, but including the negative numbers as well. So we have, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to infinity, but we also have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 to negative infinity. So those are our integers. So it's saying we're going to be using integers now. So please recognize that when we're doing this calculation, we're using numbers. Let's test this. Let's see if it worked. Two, two, okay. So we have 22 still, so two, two. So what we need to do is go back to this, like, hmm, maybe it's not good enough to have integer in front of my expression, brush teeth AM plus brush teeth PM. What I think we need to do here is let's be very specific. We're gonna say, hey, this is an integer, so our brush teeth value, and also our second variable. So we're now being very specific. So our sum is going to be our brush teeth AM value, which is going to now be converted to an integer. We're gonna take our brush teeth PM value, which is now gonna be converted to an integer, and now we're going to add them together and print that sum. Now let's run our code. Okay, two, two, and four. There we go. So now we're ready to take it to the next step. We're going to take our value and we're now gonna find out, well, how long then do you brush your teeth for the week? So let's first put in something in here, not just print, brush your sum, your brush your teeth. We could do that, but let's be a little more specific so that when you're printing this out, it looks really nice. So let's put a string value in here and we'll say, great, something like that. That means you brush your teeth and we'll just now put some of brush teeth, like so four minutes a day. So don't forget when we now have our variable here, we have a string value in front, we need to put a plus sign. And if we're gonna put anything else afterwards, we have to put another plus sign. So great, that means you brush your teeth blank. So let's say four minutes a day. Okay, so let's just quickly test this. Two, two. Okay, wow, we have another error. Well, that's really odd because we were perfectly fine earlier when we printed this off and we got our sum of four. Here's the problem. What it's telling us here is that we can't actually 
have our sum of brush teeth in here in between two strings without having um, converting it back to a string. So it's saying it doesn't like this. It doesn't like this integer now being called in this type sentence. So the, here's the, the workaround on this. What we're going to do is kind of like go backwards. You know how we converted this to an integer to be a number? Well, now we're saying, now we're gonna convert it back to a string. So it's no longer a number, like we're not gonna do any calculations with it. We just wanted to recall it and print it out in a sentence. So we're gonna go str bracket and embrace this variable. Let's see if this works. Okay, two, two, there we go. So we had to convert it, the variables into integers in order to calculate with it. But if we wanted to then print it to display it within like a sentence in more of that character-based situation, we now then had to convert that solution back into a string. So maybe a little tricky there, but something to really get in a good habit of doing. Well, let's take it one step further now again. So we calculated how much it was going to be for the week, or sorry, for the day. But what we want to do now is do that calculation for the week. So let's think about how this is going to work. So up above here, we did sum the brush to teeth, and then we took our AM, added it to our PM. So what we'd like to do is take this value, this sum, sum brush teeth, and we're going to times it by seven. So let's do that right now. So let's call introduce a new variable. So we're going to say week brush teeth. And don't forget the underscores. Equals. And I'm going to take integer. So I'm going to convert my sum underscore brush. And there it is. I'm just going to click on that. So now we know because we're going to convert it back to an integer now so that because we're going to use it for this calculation. So very important. And you just can use the asterisk. This asterisk is going to be our times. So multiplication. And we're going to times that by seven. So what we'd like to do then is now print this. And print. We want to make sure we include our quotations. That means you brush your teeth and we want to say now how many minutes per week so what we're going to do is very similar to what we did above here now don't forget because what we're going to do is now call this variable but if we want it to work and not get that error message we go str bracket and now let's call it that variable week underscore brush and there it populates click on that to help us out save some time excellent Okay, so it looks like I have an extra bracket there. Let's get rid of that. Oh, no, that's the bracket for the end of this expression. And then what I'm going to do is because I want to add more to the end of this, don't forget plus sign. So that means you brush your teeth, let's say 14 minutes a week. And you could keep going, you could do this for a month, for a year, you could keep doing these calculations and printing them out as long as you're always converting to an engineer when you're using the calculation and converting back to a string when you want to print it out into a sentence. All right, let's see where we're at. Okay, two and two. And we get great, that means you brush your teeth four minutes a day. And that means you then brush your teeth 28 minutes a week because of course, if we take our two, plus two is four minutes a day, and four times seven gives us 28. So this is where you can have fun with this. You can have different values for your minutes. So of course, if somebody says that they only brush your teeth for one minute or three minutes for the morning and the evening, and then you automatically have the new calculation down here. Okay, so hopefully this is a great opportunity for you to learn when to use string and when to use integers and to do those calculations.